Creating virtual worlds is a fantastic endeavor for many reasons. It allows for a unique expression of creativity, where designers can build immersive environments that transport users to entirely new places. These worlds can be as detailed and intricate as one's imagination allows, offering a rich playground for both creators and visitors. Additionally, making VRC worlds fosters a strong sense of community. When you build a world, you provide a space for people to gather, interact, and share experiences. These interactions can lead to lasting friendships and collaborations, enriching the Virchit community as a whole. Moreover, creating worlds in Virchit can be a valuable learning experience. It involves using various skills such as 3D modeling, scripting, and sound design, which can be incredibly rewarding to develop. As you improve, you can tackle more complex projects, continually pushing the boundaries of what you can create. Lastly, sharing your VRC worlds can bring a sense of accomplishment and recognition. Seeing others enjoy and appreciate your creations can be immensely satisfying, providing motivation to keep creating and innovating. It's a wonderful way to leave your mark on the Virchit universe. As a self-developer of my own Virchit worlds, I find the process both challenging and rewarding. Crafting a world from scratch requires a great deal of time and effort, as each world needs to be thoughtfully designed and meticulously crafted to serve its intended purpose. One of the main reasons creating a world can take a significant amount of time is the need to generate unique and compelling ideas. Every world I develop starts with a vision, a concept that dictates the atmosphere, interactions, and experiences it will offer. This initial stage is crucial because the purpose of the world guides every design decision I make. Additionally, the development process involves a lot of trial and error. As I build, I constantly test and refine my work, ensuring that the world functions as intended and provides an engaging experience for users. This iterative process can be time-consuming, but is essential for creating a high-quality world. Moreover, balancing creativity with technical constraints is a significant aspect of world building. While I aim to push the boundaries of what can be done, I also have to consider performance and accessibility. Ensuring that my worlds are optimized for a smooth experience on various devices adds another layer of complexity to the development process. In the end, the time invested in creating virtual worlds is well worth it. The joy of seeing others explore and enjoy the spaces I've created is incredibly fulfilling, and each new project helps me grow as a developer. Every world is a piece of art, a reflection of my creativity and dedication to the virtual community. Sometimes, Creating my virtual worlds involves multiple steps to optimize them for the best performance. While I strive to minimize lag and ensure a smooth experience, small to medium lag spikes may still occur occasionally. Despite these challenges, my worlds remain pliable and enjoyable for users. Optimization is an ongoing process that requires balancing various elements, such as textures, lighting, and scripting. Each step I take to improve performance helps reduce lag, but it can be a complex task that requires constant tweaking and testing. Even though there might be a few instances of lag, I make every effort to ensure that my worlds are as optimized as possible. The goal is always to provide an immersive and enjoyable experience for everyone who visits, and I continuously work on refining my skills and techniques to achieve this. Ultimately, the satisfaction comes from knowing that people can still have fun and appreciate the worlds I create. Even if there are occasional performance hiccups, each project is a learning experience, and I remain committed to improving and delivering the best possible environments for the Virchit community.